Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. We've come to the village of Baydish. Today we're going through our madrasas and we've come to one madrasa which has just been opened two months ago. So we're going to enter the madrasa now, inshallah. Now, I walked in a few minutes ago and I was absolutely fascinated and gobsmacked. This is one of our first madrasas I've seen. Which, first of all, so many ladies, usually we get many, many small children. But this is a, we've got very young girls from the age of six, seven to the grandmother who's born nearly 70 plus. Uh, it's opened two months ago by a teacher called Miranda. And before two months, she never used to practice Islam herself. She was very new to Islam. She's now learning about Islam and she's also teaching. She started two months ago, she's got over 50 ladies. Ladies from the age, young girls from the age of 12, 13, right away to the 77 years of age. How does it seem to come this way, please? Um, so, as you can see in the video, the, the zeal and the most of them that came to Madrasa a couple of months ago never knew anything about Islam, about Allah, about Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. And they, if, they, if, they, if they, we were sitting on the floor for a few days, the floor is very, very hard. The floor is very, very hard, our knees hurt. They be sitting for two hours, there's no pants, there's no air, there's nothing inside this place. There's no water, okay? So when we asked them, what do you want? They've asked a few, they've made a few requests. They said they wanted some carpets. They said they wanted benches. They wanted some chairs for the elders, um, and they wanted books, uh, scarves, and the amazing thing which I never expected them to say, they said they wanted jobbas for ladies, because as you can see the dress code, it's modest, but they want something more better so they can come to Madresa. I haven't seen a Madresa with so many ladies with so much love and zeal for Islam. They just said, the Madresa is open now, and we're going to start learning about Allah and about Rasulullah Sallallahu if any brothers and sisters out there, and I've been saying this, that our most important project from all our projects is the Madrasa project. These people never knew Allah and Rasulullah Today they're here, today they're learning about Allah and Rasulullah Sallallahu If we can make a difference in their life by helping them with books, with benches, with electricity, with AC, and this is just the beginning. There are more and many ladies who want to learn about Allah, but they don't have the opportunity, they don't have the facilities, so my respective brothers and sisters, to sponsor a madrasa in the UK, uh, sponsor a madrasa in Armenia is two and a half thousand pounds um, a year. I swear by Allah, it would be an amazing investment, a great investment, and it would help many, many people. I request all our people in the UK who are watching this or beyond UK, please think about helping this madrasa and many, many madrasas. We've opened up 75 madrasas now in Albania, but we need to open up more and more. There are many villages who are deprived from Islam, deprived from Allah and Islam. If we can make a difference, we can go very, very long way. You see some of them have a hijab, some of them don't have a hijab, some of them are very new. We've been here 20 minutes, it's absolutely boiling and sweating. It's only 37 degrees in Albania today. They've been sitting for two hours. Allah will reward them all. But if we can help them, inshallah, it will be a big, big, we make a massive, massive difference. I request all of our sisters, the least we can do is make dua for them, inshallah, and try to help this Madrissa and many more Madrissas that actually need the help. Walla Khalif from Albania. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.